Hello all, welcome to iGroup Up. This lecture is on number systems. So number system, the concept is very important for computer science students as well as uh, uh, it is important for learning C or any other programming languages because uh, lots of things in programming languages we do which are based on the um, concept of number system. So, what are the mm, few things? Uh, concept of true and false condition, conversion between number systems, work with number, representation of data in computer, bitwise operations, flags, ASCII code, all these things uh, can be better understood using number system. Now say, uh, we all use decimal number system in our daily life. Instead of a decimal number system, say a four digit number we have taken, uh, 9587. So we can rewrite the number, break up the number like this 9000 plus 500 plus 80 plus 7. Or we can rewrite it like that 9 into 1000, 5 into 100, 8 into 10 plus 7. Or we can write it like that 9 into 10 to the power 3, 5 into 10 to the power 2, 8 into 10 to the power 1, and 7 into 10 to the power 0. So, this is the construction of decimal number. So, why do we use decimal number system? One probable reason may be that we have 10 fingers. According to Cambridge Dictionary, digit means finger or two so that is a good uh, support uh, behind the um, sense of using decimal number system which have 10 symbols 0 to 9s is there any other number system definitely yes theoretically we may have any number of number systems with any base there are many good reasons to use different ways in different situation. For example, 7 days per week, so we can have 7 base number system. 10 months per year, so we can have 12 base number system. So some generalized rule for number system. For any n base number system, there must be n different symbols. Like decimal number system, we have uh, 10 symbols, 0 to 9. Octal number system, we have 8 symbols, 0 to 8. The leftmost symbol is the most significant symbol in the number system and the rightmost most symbol is the less, less significant. The symbol places in the number always start from the rightmost most side and with 0. So if we want to give the place number to the digit in a number so we should start from the rightmost most side and that will be start with zero so the significance of a number represented as power of its systems base now base 2 number system if we think about so which is known as binary number system computer operates in Base 2 number system, we all know, but why? Only two symbols, 0 and 1, that is a good thing. These two symbols are called as bits. So, bits is nothing but binary digits. From binary bi, from digit, the last two letter ts, so it comes bits. So, computer hardware are capable to maintain two different states very easily. So, what are the hardware material used for computer chip or memory? And they are capable to uh, maintain two different states, high voltage, low voltage, or 0 and 1, whatever you want to say. It is very easy to do. Another, if the number system has very less number of symbols, then it is uh, easier to do addition and subtraction operations. Example of a binary number. So here is a binary number one zero 
1 1 1 0 1 1 this is a binary number so what is in decimal so what is the equivalent decimal number for this so for doing that for calculating decimal equivalent decimal of that binary number we have used this generalized rule we have discussed previously so yeah so first of all what we have to do assign place numbers so here from the right side we have to start from 0 1 2 3 like this we are having up to seventh place now if you want to calculate the equivalent decimal then what we will do okay we have the one here so one multiply with 2 to the power 7 because it is at the seventh place plus 0 multiply with 2 to the power 6 one multiply with 2 to the power what 5 uh, in this way Okay, so the plus a uh, plus one into two to the power four plus one into two to the power three plus zero into two to the power two plus one into two to the power one. Plus one into two to the power zero. So here <laughs> two to the power zero means one, one into one one, and uh, two to the power one is two, two into one two. Something multiply with zero is zero, and here this term will be zero. Now if we calculate, we will get one eighty seven. One eight seven. Now, if we want to do the reverse thing, say we have one eight seven, how to calculate equivalent binary number? So for that thing, we have to take what one eight seven, and we have to divide one eight seven by. Two until we are getting zero as remainder, okay? And we have to track remainder at every step like this: one eight seven divided by two equal to um, say uh, ninety three, and remainder is one. Next. Ninety-three divided by two. Oh, what we'll get? Forty-six. Remainder we are getting is one. One zero one. So let's place it properly. One zero one one one. We know it is one zero. So zero will be kept here, and one is carry. So one will come here. So one will be come here. So again we have one one zero. So one zero is one. Now one and one is zero one. So zero will come here. And 
and one is carrier so let's put the carrier okay now one 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 zero one zero is one and one one is one zero so one zero so this is the result so if we convert one triple zero one in decimal we'll get 17 you can try it yourself now hexadecimal system hexadecimal system is uh, wi widely used in computer to display binary numbers why because uh, sometimes binary numbers are very long zero one string a uh, string of zero one which is very hard to understand so it is converted to decimal sorry hexadecimal number and usually displayed so uh, the popular examples are color code in html in and color code in image editing application etc so in a hexadecimal system uh, as its uh, name it have si 16 base as well as 16 different symbols so 0 to 9 as a decimal and after that a to f so here is the comparison between decimal binary and hexadecimal number so in decimal when it is uh, when it is 9 in hexadecimal also it is 9 in decimal when it is 10 in hexadecimal it comes a in decimal when it is 11 it comes b in the hexadecimal when it is 15 decimal it comes f in hexadecimal now there is another comparison say uh, in hexadecimal 10 in decimal it is 16 in binary it is 1 4 times 0 so like this f 0 in hexadecimal so f means what 15 right so it is in decimal 140 sorry 240 240 in binary it comes 4 times 1 4 times 0 so f f means 15 and 15 two times here written so which is in decimal mm, 255 255 and in binary 8 times 1 so uh, interesting thing is that this mm, 8 times 1 if you convert to decimal it will give you 255 and if you another thing if you divide it in 4 bit and 4 bit so first first four bit will give you 15 which is f another four bit will give you 15 which is another f so f f is 8 times 1 now another concept is byte why 8 bits are there in a byte we all know that 1 bit means 8 byte sorry one byte means eight bits so the question is something like that why 12 eggs are there in a dozen why one bit equal to 12 means so like that so it is just um, you can say for convenience but there is good reason also in the first generation processors all the popular processors was of eight bit like Intel 8008 etc the 8 bit uh, in byte is accepted widely and 8 bits are enough to represent all the english characters and symbols and arabic numbers mm, in computer uh, some interesting thing can you use one eye to show yes or no to your partner i think yes can you use it two eyes to convey up, down, left and right to your partner? I think yes. In the same way, one byte, that means eight bits. Now using eight bits, how many symbols we can represent? We can represent zero to 255, that means 
256 symbols which is related to ASCII code. What is ASCII? ASCII is American Standard Code for Information Interchange. So initially ASCII was of 7 bit. So 7 bit represents 0 to 1, 27 symbols. Right? Uh, ASCII standard standardizes the code for various to identify various symbols uniquely. Okay. So initially that scheme was uh, proposed by American National Standard Institute or ANSI in 1963 and later in uh, it was adopted by ASCII in uh, 1968. Now, now extended ASCII code supports two, 256 symbols that means full one byte or eight bit representation. How computer looks at your file? So say if we write four and four space and seven. So in computer, it converts to each character converts to its ASCII code. F capital F corresponding ASCII code is seventy. Small o ASCII code is triple one. Like this space ASCII code is 32 and then this way all the characters are converted to its ASCII code and again this ASCII code will be represented into their binary symbol or binary number and that will be going to be saved in the memory. Now here is another method uh, of decimal to binary conversion. Uh, this method is uh, bit simple and uh, who can re remember 2 to the power up to n terms say 2 to the power 8 or 2 to the power 16 up to 2 to the power 16 they can use this method very easily okay so what is the method place 1 in each position where you could subtract the value the value means 2 to the power sum in and place 0 if you cannot subtract out the value without going below zero that means negative so say 46 in decimal we we have now we have to convert this decimal number to binary so say we know 2 to the power 6 is 20 sorry 2 to the power 6 is 64 to the power 5 is 32 to the 4 is 16 to the power 3 is 8 2 square is 4, 2 to the 1 is 2, 2 to the power 0 is 1. Now, how we can do it? See, we have 46. So, for 2 to the power 6, we can't subtract from it, right? But, 2 to the power 5 is 32, but we can subtract from 46. So, do 46 minus 32. 32. What will we have? 14. Now and right. So which position it is? Fifth position. So fifth position will have one because we was able to do the subtraction uh, subtraction operation. Right. Now we are having 14. 14 minus 2 to the power 4 is 16, we can't subtract from 14. 2 to the power 3 is 8, we can minus 8. So what we will have? We will have 7 in our hand. And here what change will be there? Uh, 2 to the power 4 was unable to subtract from 14. So to, at the place of, or as, at the fourth place, we will put 0. And 2 to the power 3 is 8, what we was able to subtract from 14. So it was success, we will put 1 here. So we have 7 here. Now, 7 minus 2 to the power 3 is not possible. 2 to the power 4 is 4, which is a possible to subtract. So, you subtract 4, we will have 3. And here is 4th position, sorry, 2nd position, we will put 1. Now, 
Here we have 3. So 3 minus, we can do to the power, we can subtract to the power 1, which is 2. We'll have 1 in our hand. So, which pass, uh, one th place we'll get one here. Now we have one minus two to the power zero. Yes, we can do it, which is one, right? Equal to zero. So, in zeroth place also we'll have one. So, this is the binary number, or corresponding binary number of 46.